Greetings, folks. Uh, today I have a really excellent, rare, uh, magical horn to share with you. This is a Selma Mark VI, 62,000. I guess it's 1956, um, if I'm accurate. Um, this is an original, lacquer, U.S. engraved, uh, near mint museum piece, uh, and it's quite a player. Um, this is pretty much as nice as they come. I mean, it's it's really, really close to brand new. Um, it's got a, a little spot of wear right here that's actually very small, and an even tinier one right here, which I don't think... Uh, you, yeah, you can just about see them. Two spots of wear, and that's it. Um, otherwise, it's mostly just like the last. It's barely a scratch, uh, barely a ding, uh, there's just not much on this horn. I mean, look at the bell. It just, it's an untouched original. Very nice. Uh, someone really took care of it. Uh, it's been played very little. This is the original neck cork. It's got the original pads, um, with the original lacquer on the pads. You can probably see the, 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 the lacquer on the edge of these pads, um, in this video, but you definitely can in the pictures. Um, what else? Original neck, uh, you know, with the original serial number. Oh, this is kind of an interesting horn. Um, it's, it's, it's basically, so it has a, these uh, early 60,000s, uh, 50s and 60,000s, they have SBA bells. So, um, I can't remember who I was talking to, maybe it was Derek Bagazu, someone uh, years back said they took their 50 or 60,000 horn um, to the summer factory back in the day. Um, this was before uh, the internet and all, and uh, to have them sort of review it and look at it and, and tell them about it, and they said, "Oh, it's an SBA," <laughs> you know, because it's, it's basically SBA body parts. Um, yeah, they're they're different than than the later SBAs. They're there's the beginning of Mark VI, but as far as I'm concerned, these days they're really kind of a hybrid. Um, it's an SBA bell for sure, and the rest of it, I don't know. The neck is probably different. This one's interesting. It has adjustment screws. It has uh, key foot adjustment screws in here. Like, I, th I think some of the balanced actions have those. Um, so it's got adjustment screws in there. Um, it's got another oddity, which is this uh, this uh, F-sharp adjuster, the uh, um, G-sharp adjuster. The uh, screws, they have feet on them. So usually they're just screws that go right through. These are screws with feet. Never seen that on a Selmer. Well, I mean, it, they might have it on some balanced actions and such, but, I mean, you don't find it on Mark VI's. Um, so this, this horn has some oddities, um, it's early, um, and it just, it plays amazingly great. Uh, it's just one, it's just one of those horns. Um, amazingly great. I, I, you know, I don't really have the words to say it, it's just one of those horns that just plays amazing. Um, it's all original pads, never had an overhaul. Um, original setup, um... I went through it and just did a little tweaking to just, you know, get rid of a couple leaks, um, because, you know, 60 plus year old pads are going to leak. Um, I just kind of did a little tweaking, a little setup work. Um, it just plays amazing on these old crappy pads and the horns that play incredibly on old, you know, 60 plus year old pads, uh, you know, those pads can't be sealing all that well. And when the horns play incredible on those pads, that's telling you that horn is a, you know, a monster of a horn, you know, one in the, how many, I don't know. Amazing, amazing horns play that way, and this does. This just really, really speaks, um, even now, without an overhaul. So I'm gonna play it first um, on an, uh, a straight signature Florida Link, and then we'll, a hard rubber, and then we'll go to the Berg Larsen. They're both around 100 tip, you know, 90 something to 100 tip size. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
but it works with that piece and it's, it's a good uh, it's an accurate representation of the difference between a link and a berg but as far as I'm concerned uh, <laughs> I can barely tell the difference listening to myself when I switch it's more that they feel different I'm actually I, I, I feel like uh, I like the flexibility of the link a little bit more but I'm more comfortable on the berg and that's that what can I do about that <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 